Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be uh, doing a bit of a CNC project for the 3D printer. Uh, what I decided to do is I'm getting quite a bit of filament uh, built up, especially for the Wanhao. And um, what I want to do is come up with a hanging spool holder. So above the, the Wanho and the laser cutter, etc., and, and throughout my shop, I've, I've started to install uh, a centralized sort of um, dust collection slash um, ventilation system. And from that, it's, it's based upon, uh, you know, in short, one and a half inch ID, um, basically two inch OD um, PVC pipe. So what I decided is since this passes above the... Um, the uh, one how uh, that I would do, create a set of hanging spool holders uh, for this and so I've got a bunch of mill mine three quarter inch mill mine uh, uh, wood and, and so I decided to create it out of that and I figured the best way to do this is just simply cut it out on the CNC so I haven't done anything with the CNC for a while so figured tossing in a CNC project here would be pretty good and then also what I'll do is I'll show uh, when we cut over to the machine uh, the um, dust boot that I built for it and we'll take a look see how the dust boot works because I haven't cut anything since I made the dust boot so we'll take a look at that and see how that works uh, however to this uh, in Inkscape what I did is I drafted up uh, a piece here an arm and I just kind of want to make it cosmetically a little bit attractive and so I have a top opening up here that's going to go around the PVC pipe and then I'm going to have a half inch rod that's going to pass through this bottom piece and that's what the spools are going to sit on and hang from that um, uh, overhanging um, dust collection pipe. So, uh, did the did the mock-up in um, uh, Inkscape, and then saved it as an EPS, and then from there we loaded the EPS into Cut 2D, and then I, as you see here, I've got the tool pass set, and from the tool pass. Uh, I've cut that out and, and uh, I've used a Shape Boco post, post processor because, uh, in short, I'm using the, the garble controller hooked to the probotic uh, CNC machine to cut it out. So uh, it'll understand that and I'll use the, the um, uh, uh, garble, what the heck do they call it? I can't remember what they call it, to garble something or another. In other words, it's the, the front end on the PC that sends the G code to, to the garble controller. Gerbil, gerbil, garble. Um, I forget what it's called nowadays. Anyways, you get the idea. And so we're going to send that across. So um, just kind of want to give a basic idea of, of the design. So I just whipped this up real quick. Again, I kind of wanted to be aesthetically looking kind of cool. Could have done it a couple different ways. Um, anyways, did it this way. So let's cut over to the machine and then let's take a look at... Um, uh, do a little talk about the dust boot and then we'll do a time lapse of cutting it out. Then we'll install it and you can kind of see how it all looks. Cheers. Well, welcome back. Here we are at the uh, CNC machine. As mentioned, I haven't uh, done a, a CNC video in a while. Uh, one of the things you probably remember, maybe from quite a while back, that I designed and built this dust boot for the CNC machine, uh, which connects to a centralized dust evacuation system or ventilation system which I've put in the shop or in the process of. It's probably about three quarters done. I'm still messing with a few different pieces. And the concept is, is, is the vacuum attaches here to the central system and then this piece creates a manifold and then the manifold uh, covers the uh, opening of the uh, machine tool and then sucks the stuff up um, Actually, let me see. I can probably give you a little bit closer view if I take you off the tripod. So anyways, you can kind of see up in here. So now I meant for a boot to go on here. And I haven't, I made a boot and I took it off. And I'm going to probably change this bottom part. And that's one of the reasons I haven't done too much. But one of the things, as you saw in the onset of the video, and I'll put you back on the tripod, is, um, is, is I wanted to print out some spool, I want a spool holder. Uh, hanging spool holders, and I decided to do it out of this uh, melamine material. I've got just a ton of laying around, and, and I figured the best way to do it is just cut it out on the CNC. So, uh, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead to do a quick time lapse of uh, cutting this out, and then we'll come back and uh, take a look at things. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, 
Let's go. Okay, we're back. So that was the time lapse, and we've cut these pieces out of the mill mine. They came out they actually rather nice. The desk boot actually worked okay, too, as I expected. On the underside, I'm going to have to, to, to change this a little bit. However, I mean, there is some dust. Uh, a lot of it is just thrown by the bit past where the vacuum can grab it. Uh, however, it, it actually did a pretty good job. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, you know, normally this is just a huge mess, <coughs> excuse me, and this is one of the reasons I don't use the CNC too much, is it does make a big mess. Typically, this isn't bad. Uh, I'm going to have to start doing some more on this. I do have to change some stuff on the clamping and, and, and that kind of stuff. I do like, I've got a lot of this, this mail mine stuff, I've got a lot of thicker type material uh, laying around to make things, and it's just really a lot of fun. Uh, to cut these out. It, it actually came out, the pieces came out pretty good. Um, happy with that. So um, you can kind of see it, not, not again too complex. Again, I got a little bit here that uh, I, I didn't uh, round out that well in the, in the model, but uh, hey, it's close enough. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, go assemble this and I'll show you what this looks like and how it's going to work on the 3D printer or for the 3D printer. So here's a bit of the finished product. So we have it uh, hung off the um, the pipe in the back here, as you can see. So I've got multiple spools on there. So I've got about five spools on there. Um, I don't know if I'd go two more. I think I, I could probably go up to six. And then um, if I wanted to, yeah, I could probably get maybe seven on there. Yeah, but it's probably getting pretty weighty already for... Uh, for that pipe unless I unless I put another brace on it and that's what I might do I actually might put uh, two more braces on there and I can probably put more of a load on on that pipe then but uh, yeah because it's just uh, for the uh, uh, evacuation system so anyways um, this is what we created so it actually works out pretty good because the idea is is what I want to be able to do is um, take and then just string this I can reach this, just kind of string this down like this and bring this down into the lawn how and uh, feed it in there so I don't have to keep changing this if I don't want to. I just spool this over the top and then it'll actually feed from, from up above. Now I might have to shift these around. I printed these uh, a long time ago, these little clamps that clamp onto half inch pipe uh, with screws. I don't know if I'm going to use those or something else that I'm going to make or just some uh, maybe press on end caps. I think what I'm going to do is just print some press on end caps for that um, and call it and call it done because it pretty much sits there on its own. So uh, anyways, hey, this came out pretty good. So it was a CNC project for the uh, 3D printer. I'm real happy with the dust collection again that, that I printed over on the CNC machine on, from the 3D printer. So it is kind of kind of gives you an idea how you can use a combination of, of various tools you know, the 3D printer, the uh, CNC over there. I've got a laser cutter over here. Actually, I've got two laser cutters. So, um, uh, you can, you know, build quite a few different things with this. So, uh, uh, again, pretty happy. So, if you found this interesting, hey, give it a thumbs up. If you got any comments, questions, hit me up down below. Um, subscribe to the channel. A lot more of this stuff coming. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more on the CNC uh, or more on the CNC sort of maybe integration with the 3D printer, that kind of stuff. Uh, I am going to work my way back around to the laser cutter. I do got some projects queuing up for that. Also got some more projects for the uh, CNC too. Just uh, simply trying to find the time. So uh, anyways, 
Thumbs up, subscribe, catch you later. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.